Good afternoon, Fort Atkinson High School. Please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you for joining me today on today's announcements. Entries for the VFW Voice of Democracy contest are due to pupil services by 3 p.m. on Thursday, October 29th. This contest, as you've heard me mention before, is open for students in 9th through 12th grades. One Fort Atkinson student will be awarded $250 scholarship with the opportunity to move on to the state and national level, with the top scholarship being $30,000. Entrants need to record a three to five minute spoken essay on Is This the Country the Founders Envisioned? Attention seniors, the Herb Cole Educational Foundation will once again be offering $5,000 Cole Excellence Scholarships to graduating students who intend to enroll at a two or four year college or university. This is a very competitive scholarship based on a student's academic achievements as well as diverse extracurricular activities. The online application for the Cole Excellence Scholarship is available at coleeducation.org, spelled K-O-H-L. The deadline for applications is Tuesday, November 17th. The scholarship does also require three letters of recommendation, so you're advised to start working on the application very early. Juniors and seniors, the monthly calendar for October has been posted to the Fort Atkinson High School website under the Pupil Services link. Each month, the Pupil Services staff prepares a monthly calendar of activities, scholarships, and other opportunities to attend workshops, college visits, camps, and conferences. So please make sure to stop by their website and visit that today. Now for a very important message with regards to attendance. As it has been put out many, many, many times, your attendance is still required. If you are not attending your classes, you will be marked absent. Just like as if we were all in person, if you're marked absent too often within a semester, you may be issued a truancy citation. Show up to your classes on time, participate, and engage what you need to do and make sure you're taking care of what it is you need to take care of. In person or not in person, you are ultimately responsible for your attendance. Big happy birthday going out to a long list today. And again, if I say your name incorrectly, I apologize. I really do want you to have a wonderful birthday this week. So happy birthday goes out to Kyle Hefts, Natalie Smiley, Zayden Sigmund, Benjamin Stricker, Quinn Teubert, Brianna Dudek, Jeshua Martinez, Christopher Patton, Trevor Victor, Joseph Kuhl, Allison Notbaum, Dylan Teubert, Princess Zuniga Torres, Lucas Baxley, Rihanna Chapman, Michaela Krieger, Ashton Vasquez, Archer Brantmeyer, Wyatt Birch, Blaine Fletcher, Grayson Hine, Lysanda Korbeck, and Marco Massey. A happy birthday to all of you. I hope it's everything that you want it to be this year. Now, how about some words of wisdom? And based on the email that you've seen, hopefully you had a chance to take a look at what I've written in there. And today's message is about responsibility. In her famous diary, a very young Anne Frank wrote these words. Parents can only give good advice or put their children on the right path, but the final forming of a person's character lies in their own hands. What Anne Frank is talking about here is self-responsibility, which, in a nutshell, means taking responsibility for your own thoughts, words, and deeds. Our parents, teachers, counselors, and other leaders can offer us valuable advice. They can recommend for us which path to take, and they can share the wisdom that they've gained through their own experiences. But in the end, it's up to us to make the right choices. Today, practice taking responsibility for your actions. If you make a mistake, admit it. If you hurt someone's feelings or say something you shouldn't, apologize. Learning to be self-responsible is learning to be a person of character. And being a person of character is a goal we should all set for ourselves. With something to think about, this is Mr. Alverson. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. I really do hope you have a great weekend and I hope to see you all again real soon.